Welcome to this conferral rite for the 2021 Companion of the Worship Arts of the Anglican Church of Canada and the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Canada. The Program Committee for Worship on behalf of National Bishop Susan Johnson welcomes as the 2021 Laureate, Rob Wilson. I invite Laureate Debbie Lou Ludolf as biographer for Mr. Wilson to present him for this honor. Words will not be enough to convey the artistry and prayerful heart that undergirds the creative, generous, and inspiring liturgical gifts of Rob Wilson, named Companion of the Worship Arts 2021. Rob is a liturgical artist. At congregational, synodical, and national levels, he has given himself to transforming spaces and enlivening the word with grace and imagination. Rob's design and performative work offers opportunities for heart, mind, and body to engage. He honors beauty as gift from God. Reverend Dr. Mark Harris, worship professor and Rob's former pastor at Mount Zion Lutheran Church, said it well, and I quote, Rob has helped many of us in the Eastern Synod to grow in our awareness and appreciation of worship as a fully embodied sensory experience that warrants intentional curation. Rob's intentional curation emerges from his Christian faith and stirs the worshiper with color, sound, texture, and nuance in ways that are both pastorally welcoming and prophetically challenging. His design work orients the assembly gathered around word and bath and meal to lift up the beauty of creation and to attend to missing and marginalized voices. Bishop Michael Price, who has served with Rob at ordinations, assembly, Luther hostel, and anniversary gatherings for over 15 years, writes of the breadth of Rob's giftedness that combines, and I quote, a keen sensitivity to integrating the particular liturgical context, the needs of the worshiping community, and the broader needs of the world. Bishop Michael raises up an example from the 2013 Joint Assembly in Ottawa asking, who will forget the Anukshuk that Rob designed, which marked the liturgical center of our worship space? What I have noticed over the years of working together with this gentle, strong, compassionate man is how when he took on the role of liturgical director, he delighted in graciously mentoring others. He often sought out those who were unnoticed and then walked with them whatever it took to set them free to create and to use their gifts. It is with great joy and deep respect that I am honored to present to you, Mr. Rob Wilson, to be conferred with the Companion of the Worship Arts 2021. The Faith, Worship and Ministry Committee, on behalf of Archbishop Linda Nichols, welcomes as the 2021 Laureate, Thomas Roach. I invite Bishop John Stevens as biographer for Mr. Roach to present him for this honor. It is indeed my great pleasure to say a few words about Thomas Roach. I've known Thomas for a good number of years through our common association with this Diocese of New Westminster. For there have been many events and liturgies over the years in the history of the Diocese where Thomas's artwork, leadership, and creativity have inspired many around him. For Thomas, the link between artwork and holiness is a blurred line filled with possibilities and God's delighted presence. Let me quote from some of the writings of Jane Osler, who took the lead on preparing Thomas's nomination, that he might be one on whom the companion of the worship arts should be conferred. She wrote, 
For more than 20 years, Thomas Roach has been inspired by the power of cloth, particularly when it has connection to sacred or community stories. He believes that because textiles are steeped in metaphor and materiality, are accessible, approachable, and always inviting. They are uniquely suited for community engaged art projects. For Thomas, creativity and spirituality are not only inseparable, they are different approaches to the same thing. His community work invites participants to discover their innate creativity. She went on to say, Thomas is a textile artist working primarily in liturgical art as, and has contributed to the worship life of the Anglican Church of Canada. While much of his work has been with his home parish of Christ Church Cathedral in Vancouver, he has also worked with various congregations across Canada and in the United States as well as with the Synod Office of the Diocese of New Westminster and with the National Church's General Synod Office, PWRDF, and the Anglican Foundation. In general, she said, his work can be viewed from three perspectives, the design and decoration of liturgical space, the design and creation of vestments and other liturgical items, community-engaged decorative projects. Furthermore, she said, much of his work takes a highly collaborative approach in which he provides overall design, direction, and leads the community in the development of key components of the work, all while grounded in prayer and listening. It is through many of these community-based projects that his creativity and collaborative leadership have truly come to the forefront. Now, for the consecration and installation of Bishop Melissa, Melissa Skelton, my predecessor, who then came, uh, became the Metropolitan of British Columbia and Yukon, Thomas created a beautiful liturgical space within the downtown convention center, creating a place of worship and beauty in what is often seen as a fairly square ballroom. The same artwork of banners was then carried into the streets and helped form and lead the procession into the cathedral of the diocese. Those banners were once more linked the two lit liturgies by forming the backdrop of the installation portion. Thomas's artwork was the anchor, the link, the icon that invited a deeper awareness of God's presence walking with us as a diocese. Archbishop Melissa described the Thomas Roach design vestments at Christchurch Cathedral in this way. She said they are treasured by the community there and with good reason. Classically styled, they bear the particular marks of the community as Thomas has engaged with parishioners to write prayers in their own hand, shared in the work of embroidery and celebrating the distinctive heraldry and symbols of Christchurch Cathedral. She said, together, these four sets are a remarkable legacy. Individually, each stand as an expression both of Thomas's creativity and his capacity to engage others in the work of making the worship life of the church be filled with beauty, truly the beauty of holiness. Thomas has received the order of the Diocese of New Westminster. It is my great pleasure now to be involved with bestowing upon him the medallion signifying a companion of the worship arts. May the gift of the Holy Spirit continue to bless Thomas that he may continue to ignite and inspire beautiful creativity, revealing the mystical presence of the God of grace and joy. Thank you. We now enter the conferral rite, presided over by National Bishop Susan Johnson and Archbishop Linda Nichols. For his ongoing inspiration to others and his dedicated service to God and God's people, the companionship of the worship arts is conferred upon Rob Wilson on this seventh day of July 
in the year of our Lord, 2021. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, sovereign of creation. Blessed are you for the gifts of worship and the arts. Blessed are you for all who bring life to celebration and celebration to life. Blessed are you for your servant, Rob. May his vision inspire us. May his vocation challenge us. May his art touch us deeply this day and always. Amen. Amen. For his ongoing inspiration to others and his dedicated service to God and God's people, the companionship of the worship arts is conferred upon Thomas Roach this seventh day of July in the year of our Lord, 2021. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, sovereign of creation. Blessed are you for the gifts of worship and the arts. Blessed are you for all who bring life to celebration and celebration to life. Blessed are you for your servant, Thomas. May his vision inspire us. May his vocation challenge us. May his art touch us deeply this day and always. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, maker of all things. Blessed are you for the gifts of creativity and inspiration. Blessed are you for all who bring these gifts to our life and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mr. Rob Wilson, Companion of the Worship Arts. Mr. Thomas Roach, Companion of the Worship Arts. Keep breathing, right? Um, had a lot of time to think since this honor was bestowed upon me over a year ago, what it means to be an artist within the church. For I'm not your typical artist, for my mediums are music and poetry and flowers and other people's voices. But every time I get to create, I remember that I am an instrument of God's gospel. You know, I'd like to thank you, Bishop Susan, but then I'd have to thank those Sunday school teachers and the choir directors and uh, youth leaders who helped shape and form who I am. I'd like to thank you, Bishop Mike, but hey, then I'd have to thank the people at Edgewood, the Smiths, the Wolners, and the Wernowskis. And, you know, I'd have to thank Bishop Purist, Mike, also because he reminded me that the spirit truly is my muse. Well, Debbie Lou, I'd really like to thank you. Then I'd be missing a lay delegate for Dr. Harris or the pastors or congregation members who really uplifted and supported me and judged me and offered me the opportunities to just be me. And most recently, the beautiful little parish of Christ Church in Port Stanley. 
I'd like to thank my husband and my family, my parents, my godparents. And I'd like to remember Chris's grandpa, the right Reverend Morris Robinson, who reminds me almost every day that God loves us. Actually, God loves everyone, but he said just not everyone remembers it or knows it yet. And I'd like to thank a boys teacher who reminded me that everyone is an artist. We're just all different types of artists. And if I may, I finish with a simple prayer. My simple prayer is that the church, the wider church, the body who is bigger than us, all denominations, will continue to find ways to continually both uplift financially and supportively all the work of all artists in all mediums within the church. May it be so, and may it be always. Peace to you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you to the Faith, Worship, and Ministry Committee for this award. Thank you to the Primate, to Bishop Susan, and to Bishop John for his kind words. A particular thank you to those who took the time to nominate me. You know who you are, and I do too. Thanks, of course, to my supportive husband, Peter, and our wonderful network of family, both extended and chosen who always support and encourage. If we believe that we are created in the image of a God who is creator, then we must understand ourselves as innately creative beings. Uplifting and celebrating that creativity in all its myriad forms, whether it be stitching, writing, cooking, painting, performing, dancing, composing, playing, or singing, all become part of our prayers of praise, of thanksgiving, and of intercession. Much of the work that I do is collaborative. It only succeeds by the contribution of other hands and of other voices. I believe that at its best, it is incarnational work, bringing spirit and story to concrete form, sharing not only beauty, but also deep meaning. Yes, sometimes it's messy, but also so often joyous and always life-giving. I have been privileged to work in a number of spiritual communities that have nurtured and, encur and encouraged my particular set of gifts. I am profoundly grateful to those many through the years who not only said yes, to my grandiose ideas, but also, how can I help? Thanks especially to the now dispersed community of St. Gabriel's Calgary that formed me, to St. George's Calgary, where work is almost complete on the latest incarnation. But my most profound thanks is to and for the extraordinary community that is Christchurch Cathedral, Vancouver, where I've spent nearly 25 years experimenting and creating. Thank you. I invite you now to imagine where God's creativity is leading you next. May the inspirations of your heart and eye, tuned and nourished by your soul, be brought to new life by the work of your hands. Thank you all for participating in this wonderful and lovely celebration of the Companion of the Worship Arts. We invite you now to join in a session to meet and congratulate the laureates.